upset city is what's going to happen in the Eastern Conference. Hey guys, thank you for checking out part one of the Western Conference uh, predictions opinion video. If And if you haven't checked that out yet, you can do that after this. It doesn't have to be part one now that I think about it. You can watch that after this if you want. It's up to you. But anyways, we talked about the Western Conference Finals. Uh, sorry, the Western Conference playoff picture, and I've got Golden State coming out of that, returning to the finals. And, you know, to me it's pretty cut and dry. I see San Antonio and Golden State being the only teams that really can contend, and maybe OKC. Everybody else doesn't have a chance. Now, on the Eastern Conference side of things, playoff picture is totally different. I, I don't even – I had a really tough time picking out teams, and I just went with my gut. I think it's going to be, I wanted to upset Cleveland so bad, like the first round against Detroit, because they've lost to Detroit 3-1. Uh, Detroit has beat them this year three times, and, and Cleveland's lost once, and Cleveland has lost big games um, throughout the year. I just, at the end of the day, though, I think LeBron is going to win this game. He's not going to let the, uh, Cleveland lose to Detroit. So, I think it's going to be a good matchup, but uh, yeah, anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's dive right into the first round. So, of course, Cleveland did get the first seed, and they're playing the eighth seed, Detroit Pistons. I think this is actually going to be a better series than people think. I think it's going to go six games with Cleveland coming out on top, 4-2. Then you got Atlanta and Boston. Now, I'm from Georgia, of course, and so you would think that I'm pulling for Atlanta, and I definitely am. I would love to see a championship come to Atlanta, but I've gotten my hopes up a little bit too many times over these last few years, and I just I think this is the year that they get upset. I watched Boston and Miami play um, last night, actually, and Miami was killing Boston by like 20, over 20 points in the first quarter, and I was like, this game's boring. Boston sucks. I don't know how they even made the playoff, and I forgot the toughness of Isaiah Thomas and them boys, and I'm, I'm fast-forwarding through it because I had I rewinded it because I had it rewound, rewinded. Rewound. Now, anyways, I watched the beginning of the game, and I was it was not live because I had recorded it. So I was fast-forwarding it because it was 10.30. I wanted to watch Kobe's last game and stuff. So I'm fast-forwarding it, and as I'm watching the score, I'm like, I'm like, what? Boston starts coming back, and Miami scored like five points in the third quarter. I don't even know what happened because I didn't actually watch the game. But all I know is that Boston fought and came back. And there was this, like, scene after the, after the uh, game of, Isaiah and Marcus Smart and all these guys just looking at the camera like and all tough and stuff and then I'm like man this team's a fighter I think Boston is gonna beat Atlanta Atlanta has home court advantage I don't care this is an upset that I think is gonna happen I think Boston is a team you do not want to play they do not quit they are tough they will they fall all the time they'll knock you over they don't care they'll knock you over that sounds so intimidating but they're scary, and I think they're going to beat Atlanta. I think it's only going to be take six games for them to do it. It's going to be 4-2 Boston moving on to the second round to face the Cavaliers. So we got Toronto and Indiana. 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 And, I, I, you know, again, I went back and forth with this one, but I really believe in Toronto. I actually think they can make it to the finals. They have a chance, and this is one of the teams I could be completely wrong about. And I also believe that Indiana, if they if they lock down on, on defense and, and play the defense, Defensive team that they, you know, be who they are in that defensive team. They could also give Toronto fits and could even go further into the playoffs. And I think Toronto, this is their time. I think they want it. They got to get past the first round here. I don't think DeMar DeRozan is going to let that happen to where they only get, they get knocked out the first round. They got home court advantage. Uh, you know, Drake's going to be there. It's just a whole lot of things, you know, that Drake being there have been insignificant totally. But I think it's going to go seven games. It's going to be a tough series. I think Indiana is going to surprise people. Uh, Paul George, man, awesome year, and I think he's going to prove again of why he's so great. Coming out of that injury and still making it to the playoffs, they're going to give him a series, but I think Toronto is going to come out 4-3 and advance to the second round. Then I got Miami and Charlotte. This is a matchup I didn't want to happen because I wanted, I love Charlotte. I love how they've been playing, and I wanted Charlotte to, to do well, but I also really believe in Miami this year, and I, I hate to say this, but I think the Miami Heat are going to beat the Hornets four to two. It's gonna take six games. This listen, the Heat want this. They want it real bad. Even without Bosch, I think they have a lot to prove, and they have some young guys that are just explosive. And when they're on, they are tough. And defensively, man, I mean they're one of the better teams in the league in defense. Um, I would not really want to play them if I was anybody in the Eastern Conference. And as good as Charlotte 
as good as Charlotte is this year, I think they're going to meet their ends in the first round. But you know what? If they would have got matched up against anybody else, I probably would have had them upsetting them, just not Miami. That's the team that I don't think they'll be. But that's the first round. I've got the Cavs and Celtics, and i got Toronto and Miami. So, Cavs and Celtics. I still think the Celtics are going to give fits to LeBron and the Cavs. I think they are a tough team. They're one of the underdogs I'm just going with. Maybe it's because Isaiah's short like me, and I just want to believe in short people. I don't know, but I, I, I see them going seven games and Cleveland pulling it out in the seventh games in Cleveland because they have home court advantage. And I think it's going to be a pretty pretty upset, pretty big upset in game seven. But I think I think games in Boston, I think the Celtics are going to win every one of them in Boston. And it's going to go seven games. And Cleveland's going to make it once again to the Eastern Conference Finals. But look, what promise and what uh, hope that gives Boston, man. They got some young guys. They're going to be back for sure. They're, they're a tough bunch. They get one superstar. Like, one more superstar. I guess Isaiah is kind of a superstar. If they get one more good guy, they can definitely go farther than the second round. So Cavs make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Who are they going to face? I think they're going to face Miami. Toronto, I don't think they've had the, they have the experience, and I think that's what it's going to come down to. Miami's been here before. Dwayne Wade has done this. Uh, he's, he's been here. He knows the pressure. Uh, defensively, they're going to lock them down, and I just think – even though they don't have home court advantage, I still see Miami pulling this thing out and beating uh, beating Toronto. I don't think it's going to matter. I got to beat them 4-2. I think it's going to take six games, but I think Miami is going to be going to the East Conference Finals. And I'm so excited to see Miami versus Cleveland in the Eastern Conference Finals. I am going to watch every one of those games. I'm going to watch most of these games because they're all really good. But I'm definitely going to watch that one. It's going to be the one to see. And I can't wait to watch it because I think – Miami is going to beat LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. I said it. Call me what you want to call me. Say what you want to say. Miami is going to the finals without Chris Bosh. Even He may come back at some point during the playoffs. I haven't heard. I don't know. I've been asking people. Some people are like, yeah, he's coming back. Some people are like, no, nah, I don't think he's coming back. I don't know for sure if he's coming back or not. It doesn't matter because let me tell you what. Miami is going to make some noise in the playoffs. And if I'm going to state, that's that's I would rather play Cleveland than play Miami. I'm just saying, but I still think it's gonna be it's gonna be tough uh, for Miami too. But Miami beats Cleveland and goes to the finals one more time to play the Golden State Warriors. Final matchup, we've got Golden State and Miami. Who pulls it out? Well, up to this point, I think this is gonna be the easiest game that Golden State has played. Um, that I would rather play. I mean. Most of these East teams, opposed to maybe the Rockets, most of these East teams I think are better than, uh, are, most of these West teams are better than these, any of these East teams, seven and up. Um, they, if any of the teams from one to seven would have been in the Eastern Conference, uh, then I think they could have made it, almost, maybe even to the finals. Um, and the real finals I think was San Antonio and Golden State. And I think Golden State's gonna have their way with San Antonio. So what does that mean? I think Golden State, and. One of my friends, one of my brothers, loves Miami, and I feel them. I'm proud of them for making it. I don't think they got a chance. I think Golden State's going to beat them, and I think it's going to be, I wanted to say five games, but just I hope it's six games. I'm going to go four to Golden State repeats as NBA champions, and I say six games because I want it to be close. I don't want them to come in there and just steamroll Miami. I want to believe in Miami. I really do. And I hope it's a better competition. I hope it's better competition and more intense than that. So there you have it. I've got Golden State winning again, uh, coming out to the finals, beating Miami in six games, and taking home an NBA championship. Iguodala, you know NBA. Uh, now you know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Draymond gets NBA Finals MVP this year. I, I don't know. I just that's just a random, a random guess. I don't know. Maybe he just shows up. I don't know. We'll see. If I get that right, then that's I'm psychic, and you all should pay me more money to predict stuff. So, thanks for watching my Western Conference predictions, my Eastern Conference predictions. I hope you enjoyed both these videos. Man, I love NBA playoffs. I love NBA in general. The playoffs are the best part of the league, and uh, I love watching them. And this year, I'm more excited than I've ever been. What do you? Who do you think can come out of the East? Do you think LeBron's going to make it to the finals? Do you see an upset, maybe from somebody I didn't even mention? Do you believe? And Jay Lynn and his hair. I think he's got like this ponytail thing. I wish I could do that. I can't. Who do you think? Comment, like, subscribe. Comment, let me know who you think 
is going to come out of the East. And listen, don't get mad. Don't get frustrated, all you LeBron fans and Brandon Bryant, my friend that likes Miami. Don't get mad because at the end of the day, just my opinion.